Hey, what's up out there, gym owners? Coach Joe here from Varsity House Gym. This morning, I unfortunately, I'm off today. I have a, a, a good friend's uh, father's funeral to attend. And uh, so I, I worked from home today and I went to the local coffee shop by me. And a great group of people, great uh, coffee, and a, and a nice place to go and uh, work for a couple hours, uh, stress-free. But I haven't been there in a while, and I want to talk a little bit about re-engaging your customer base. And, and, and even when you think you have a good client who likes your product and services, it's still really, really important to consistently re-engage with them and, and communicate with them um, personally and professionally. So, you know, here's my example, right? So I haven't been to the coffee shop in probably, probably about two months, okay? And when I went there, right, always, they're always super friendly and great. How are you? How you been? They know my name, Joe, how are you, right? And, but there's no way they have not connected with me. They don't, they haven't never collected an email or anything like that. And I'd gladly give it to them. And, you know, because I, I, I it's a small business, it's a local business, they're, they're fitness buffs. And, and, you know, so I would definitely connect with them on a personal level. But they've never asked for an email. There's no email collection. I pay with my credit card a bunch of times. That should just be a foregone conclusion that you're collecting people's emails and things like that for that. Um, and, you, and and so no re-engagement. And what I noticed that, you know, they had a bunch of new products. They had a bunch of new coffees and they're about to do some renovations in the place and stuff like that. And, and, and that would have been like great information to send out in a newsletter, you know, the, the coffee gazette or something like that, whatever, okay? And let us know that there's new flavors, let us know that there's new products in the place, let us know that they have a new employee, just like any other business, right? It's kind of like awareness type stuff. So like, you know, at, at Varsity House, you know, we send out a monthly newsletter, super simple. It could be on, it's a lot of pertinent topics to the time of the year that the newsletter goes out. You know, in December, it's all about, you know, beating the holiday bulge, healthy holiday tips, you know, low calorie cocktail recipes, things like that. Uh, you know, coming into the spring, it's, you know, getting outdoors, you know, what, what outdoor activities burn the most calories, you know, maybe a spotlight about uh, one of our clients or coaches. There's just ways to connect. You know, every Friday I do something called the Flex Friday. It's like a little bit of mindset, a little bit of uh, uh, tips and, 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 and things that I've learned over the last 20 years and, and recipes that I like or something I cooked that week. So it could literally be anything, but consistently re-engaging with your community um, you know, allows them to A, hear your voice, it become, you become what we like to call a local celebrity, right? Where you start to become like present in people's lives for providing them great value, great tips. You want to be a fitness mentor. You want to be somebody that they say, hey, you know, I, I really need help with my nutrition. Oh, you got to go talk to Joe and the gang over at Varsity House. Oh, okay, great. Oh, I wanted my son to go, my, my son's trying to play varsity football. I need to find a place, you know. For you know, strength and performance training. Oh, you got to go see the guys at Varsity House. They're the best in the business. So little things like that. You know, because I'm constantly re-engaging with them, not just through social media, right? On email and and writing stories and giving them articles and and sharing info. You know, higher quality information than just you know double tapping on a post on Instagram or Facebook. Okay. Uh, you know, we're billing ourselves as local experts. Lots of FaceTime video like this, right, where it's it's me speaking and explaining a situation, okay? That shows expertise. That gets you known in your area, right? And if you want to take it a step further, if, you, if you're putting out good content and the, and the content of the video is, 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 is good, you can even boost those as, as, a, as a marketing post um, or use them as an actual Facebook ad. So, you know, and really get your name out in your local community. You want people to know who you are, what you do, how you do it, how to get in touch with you all the time, right? And you say, well, I have clients. Well, when I have clients in house, you know, I'm connected with them every day in my classes. Yeah, I'm sure you are, right? And you're probably doing a good job of communicating what you do and things like that. But people aren't paying attention. That's the truth of it, right? Nobody's paying attention anymore. Everybody's attention span is about 30 seconds. So this minute's going on five minutes now. And I lost you three and a half minutes ago, right? And that's the truth of it. You know, so, you know, I only need one person to watch this whole video and find some meaning in it. Okay, so that's the same thing with you and your and your your marketing. It's like I'm gonna write a whole article. People are like, oh, well, people don't read it. Well, some people do, right? And I'm gonna connect with them as best as I can, frequently, and, and consistently. Uh, and and you got to remember, like you have 
it's not their, it's not your client's job to know your marketing calendar, your event calendar, and know all the little things that are going on in your gym. You have to remind them, right? So you have to let them know that there's this six week transformation coming. You have to let them know that there's a changing class schedule. You have to let them know that there's a new coach. And you should make a big deal out of those things, right? It should be something that's celebrated by your gym and your staff and your community, as well as celebrating the wins of clients and the results of clients and things like that on a regular basis. So, you know, my tip for you today is connect frequently, connect with passion, give them cool, fun stuff that they can use, you know, tips, training advice, you know, fun, fun things that you found online. It could even be a review thing. Like a lot of guys are doing like, you know, uh, on Fridays, they do a Friday review and they just post stuff that they've read or things that from other magazines, media outlets and such like that. But any way that you can find to provide your clientele and your local community with great information and, and build yourself as the expert in your area in in your area of expertise in our case fitness and, and performance training so get out and communicate don't stop communicating communicate a lot before they become a client communicate even more after they become a client and and, and build a consistent network uh, of communication between you and your community and your tribe and the people you have and especially your your staff so Take care, everybody. See you soon.